and a slap, and a clap, and a rap. No, what? Hi, how you doing? What's up? This is bad. This is good. This is not. This is not the good energy to start a video with because it means I'm gonna be off for the entirety of the rest of the intro. It's gonna be really bad, and I don't like it, and I already hate it, and I need to restart. But I'm not going to because I ain't no bitch. Hey, hi, ho, and howdy, everyone. <coughs> saved it. Welcome yet again to something on the channel that we've seen before, but we've never seen before, but we've seen before, actually, but we haven't seen it. It's Ruby. We've seen it. It's Ruby Fairy Tales. We've not seen that. We've seen Fairy Tales in Ruby, though. Four Maidens. Lost Fable. Shit like that. Um... Whatever. Point is, it's Ruby Fairy Tales. I am um, <clears throat> getting to this <clears throat> with some stung in my throat. I'm getting to this a little bit late, uh, as you guys will probably notice, because uh, uh, depression, mental health, things dying in my near vicinity. Um. <clears throat> Among many other things, but that was some stuff. Uh, I, I did put out updates and stuff about that, uh, and I've been trying to keep people fairly uh, up to date as to what has been going on, where I've been, and what has been up. Um, but I'm finally sitting down to record some of these now. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and watch the freaking things. Uh, for those who are unaware, I love Ruby. It's my favorite show. Well, welcome, well, welcome to a guy being really obnoxious about how much he likes a cartoon. Um, it's what we do here. Um, other things. I have not read the Ruby Fairy Tales book. I own the Ruby Fairy Tales book. It's behind the naked picture of Ichigo I have on my... Don't worry about it. My point is... <laughs> It's really far back, you can't tell. Um, <clears throat> point is, uh, there's covering. Point is, it's signed, it's nice. Anyway, point is, god damn it. Ruby Fairy Tales. I have the book, I have not read the book. I've been specifically not reading the book uh, because I wanted to wait until this came out so I could watch this and then go ahead and read it. That is how I always like to handle any sort of stuff. I always view books, even if they are absolutely the original versions, as expansions upon whatever piece of media I'm watching. So, I don't see any reason why that shouldn't work for the same thing here. Uh, that is my excuse, and not, again, the depression. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it is a legitimate thing. It's what I do with all my stuff. Um, but yeah, so, um, I have not read this, um, but I do, I am, I'm aware of the existence of some of these stories, uh, I don't know what any of them are about. If I'm, let me try and quickly double check. What are all of the episodes? Because the first one's the Grim Child. I know of the Grim Child. I believe this comes. This is this is in reference to the Chill or whatever, which I I kind of know what it is, but I don't know the story. Um, <clears throat> Hunter's Children. I'm not familiar with. I I know of, again. I know all the names, but I'm not familiar with the the context. The Shallow Sea. Obviously, I've always wanted to know what that's about. It's one of the, it's the only, um, currently directly called out fairy tale in, um, the Ruby series proper that hasn't gotten an explanation, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. <clears throat> uh, the Indecisive King, if I'm not mistaken, this is about the crown, the, the crown of choice, which is, yes, the crown of choice, which is interesting. That could be very important. Um... That's almost certainly very important. I think I know what it does, because I believe I've had this explained to me, but I'm going to watch it and find out for sure. Obviously, The Girl in the Tower, it's cool. We're going to get kind of a, 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 I assume, more traditional retelling of the tale, um, uh, which, which is pretty cool. Um, we like Salem. Do we like Salem? Do we Do we really? He's kind of an asshole. Um <clears throat> But anyway, I'm, I'm interested to see what we got here. And the warrior in the woods. I'm not familiar with the context. Um, though I do believe there is some stuff worth talking about uh, once we get there. Um, if I'm understanding correctly from people not being able to shut up on the internet. Um, to which I will give my certainly very valid opinion, I'm sure. Um, but like as a writer, I think there there is valid reasons for doing it the way I believe they've done it. If I'm understanding things correctly on the internet, 
you don't have to listen to what I have to say. That's the magic of this thing is you can just press the stop button and you can click like escape. You could close the whole ass window. You could m close the tab, go to a different, you could leave that tab open for the next seven years and then come back to it later and go like, the fuck is this? Oh, it's some dude I don't know what you're talking about. I don't fucking care. Um, but yeah, um, either way, I don't know what the actual context of the story is other than that. Um, so. It is what it is. I'm 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 looking to see it. Um, so yeah, I I'm going to this fairly blind, but not as blind as I guess I could. Um, again, Ruby is my favorite show, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. It's actually cool that they're all on YouTube. I did, wasn't actually expecting them to all be on YouTube, but I mean, it makes it a little easier for me because I don't have to worry about the site being mean to me. So that's cool. Thank you. Um, I like RT's site. When it works, sometimes it's an asshole, and it bullies me in my sleep. Um, but mostly when I'm awake. I think it just says mean things to me while it thinks I can't hear, but I hear everything in my dreams. My mind is a waking nightmare. Um, is a, is a sleeping nightmare. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and check this out. Um, again, I believe the first one here is, I say I believe, I'm literally looking at the title currently with my eyeballs they're not very good but i can fucking use them to see um and we're going to go ahead and watch it this is the grim child uh, the first of the ruby fairy tales again i don't know too much what to expect other than i have heard assuming this is correct and this is the chill um it's a spooky it's a spooky spooky grim maybe maybe eat your soul maybe wear your face maybe i don't know it's probably not good. Are we ever going to see it in the main series? Don't know, but it's cool in any way. Except it's awful, because probably people die. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's going to be great. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is why I don't record things anymore, guys. This is, this, this is, this is why. It's not, again, the depression. Um, anyway, Ruby Fairy Tales, The Grim Child, series premiere. Um, uh, what else do I have to say? Um... I thank you as always to RT for being so understanding with reactions and such and stuff and things. Um, actually reminds me, I should quickly take a look before um, we actually get started with this. Um, a little while back, I did notice, for whatever reason, um, episode 6 of fucking Volume 8 was blocked. And I don't know when that happened. Because it could have happened, like, the week after the episode went up. Because, like, everything gets blocked and then you talk about, like, hey, yo, can you unblock this? Like, we got you, son. We'll just claim this. And I'm like, cool, I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm already making no goddamn money. Who gives a good goddamn? But then um, the episode uh, got blocked again. I don't know what happened. I assume someone just, like, hit a fucking button wrong. Because it's the only one that's like that. Um, I don't know if it got fixed since then, or if it is still currently, is fixed. Thank you, RT. Um, yeah, I don't know. I assume just a button got pressed wrong or something. Someone did a little oopsie doops, cause, and I have no idea when it happened. But uh, it's up now again, so midnight seems to be up again. So hopefully that's there for anyone who wants to watch it. It's uh, a really good episode. It's one of my favorites from that volume, and that volume is filled with many a favorites um what the fuck where am i god damn it what are you caught on everything apparently um can we just can we do that is that better is this helping what is happening what's going on i don't know i'm scared let's watch something scary um i believe this actually came out on halloween or some shit like that so two sets so what the fuck is going on this is a mistake. We had this figured out, and now we're here. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm wearing pajamas right now, dude. I'm, I'm not, I'm all fucked up. Um, anyway, we, we are, we're gonna go ahead and watch this. Uh, is Ruby Fairy Tales, the Grim Child, the series premiere. Again, I believe there's only six episodes. I believe that's the, 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 the run of the show. So nothing too long, but something to help kill the time a little bit uh, while we're waiting for Volume 9 and all of the wild, absurd shit that that will inevitably bring. Also, uh, because I'll have to say it again later, quick reminder in regards to Volume 9, um, because Ruby has a problem with this sometimes. I don't mean Ruby, I mean the community. Ruby community has a problem with this sometimes is 
just remember that if what you think is going to happen or what you want to happen doesn't happen, doesn't mean the show is bad. That's not what that's not what those words mean. Just remember that. Because not everybody gets that. I want this does not equal bad. Can you fanfic writers on the fucking YouTube thinking you're critics? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> saw some stuff the other day. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and watch this. It's Ruby Fairy Tales, the Grim Child. What the hell is going on? It's gonna be spooky. Also, I'm very curious. I don't know one last thing before we get started. I don't know how this is going to be um shown, basically. I'm curious if it's going to be done in more like a traditional fairy tale like read out fairy tale style narrated if it's going to be more played out directly I don't know I don't know how they're going to handle it but I'm very curious cuz I know in, in the books they're like in the book as far as I understand they're kind of like written out in their classic style and then like as the story would be told and with like a little interjections and notes from like the professors and stuff like that so i don't know it's it's interesting i'm very curious to see what they decide to do with it um the only thing i think i think i know how the last one is held kind of told again we'll talk about that another time um because it fits into why it is the way it is anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started here in three two one go go down damn you um rooster Tizzle. It's very bright in this room for a otherwise. Innocence as a blessing and a the lying boy. Um. To not understand evil and a curse to not recognize it. However, respect this answer to my question. These do share one thing in common. They are not what you expect. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily how that works. Sometimes you want a really simple story there, Ots. Poppy. But it can be good. Go? Come back. Aww. What a coward. Small bean. <gasps> Beware of the demons. Run your ass, Poppy, I assume is your name. Oak? Told you so. Your turn. Poppy Oak. But it's dangerous. Mother I need to register these so. these voices. Come on. Are you scared of trees? I double dare you. That's Caden, isn't it? I think it is. It, I will be your friend anymore. You have that sounds to. like Caden. You're my sister. Not we love Caden. Oh, he's dead now. You just killed him. He's dead now. She's dead. They're dead now. I'm gonna tell you that much. Oak, you there? Uh. Is this like that one time I accidentally shot my brother? I was an accident. I was a terrible child. I shot my brother in the back with a bow. Um. You're cold. Let's go home. You know he appears to be very. That's not good. That's bad. Poppy, what is it? Is Oak okay? Just caught a chill in the forest. It's nothing. The forest. But we're not supposed to go in there. <laughs> Sorry. Love you. Oh yeah, you totally got your whole brother fucking killed, man. You you did this. You thought it was fun and games until the murder happened. Um Father, Father have you seen It's a good idea I didn't watch this when I was in the significant throes of the depression. I'm sorry. I love you.
That is a fucking dangerous goddamn Grim, dude. It doesn't seem to really even show what it did, other than just, you know, all of the death. <coughs> Fuck. You certainly can't fucking stay. Why not me? a certain natural inclination. We expect that evil should be easy to recognize rather than accepting it can lurk behind any face. And yet, we are often the slowest to see the darkness within ourselves. Yeah, James, anyway. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed that episode of Ruby Fairy Tales. To that is creepy as fuck, Eddie. You can pick up the book that this show was adapted from right now. We'll see, uh... Okay, Jen. Oh, that was Chris, too. Yeah, it was Caden. Okay. And obviously Shannon. V. <laughs> is slightly less talented. That's... I can't even pretend. The man is a fucking voice wizard. He's great. Um, I don't just say that because he... His voice is... A, a wizard of... So it's not the point. Um, Shannon's great. Anyway. Uh, I don't even know what to say. It was just creepy as fuck. <laughs> Cause see, I all I and I definitely I'm going to be uh, reading through all of these uh, in the book later on. Uh, I don't know if there's any plans for like a season two to uh, either cover more stories because I know there's there's a decent number of them. There's at least like twice as many in the book, I think. Um, but uh, I also am curious to see uh, how more in de depth it goes. Cause again, I I knew about the chill. Obviously, since the book first came out, because we've obviously talked about it, because it's a creepy fucking grim. Um, being said, I still don't fully understand how it works, other than, like, like if it possesses you, or if it, like, jumps, just, just jumps through your body and starts infecting other people. I don't know how it works, but it sounds fucking concerning. It sounds like a really goddamn bad thing to have around, you know? Um... Which makes me curious as if we ever actually see it happen in the show proper. I feel like we're not in a position to where that is an appropriate Grimm to deal with. Just purely because of the current stakes that we're in. Um, where Salem is currently by the end of Volume 8 and shit like that. But also I don't know. Like I still think that's not impossible by any means. Um, and I think that's, that's entirely a valuable, uh, reason to just have the fairy tales in general is not, because it doesn't have to necessarily fit directly in the show. It can just be world building itself. The chill can just be a grim that exists in the world. And that's really fucking dangerous and just kills everything. Um, yeah, I'll have to look up, uh, after this, uh, see maybe like in the wiki and stuff, see what they also have to say as well. Well, I don't know, man. That's as creepy. Like, it's short. Again, I feel like I don't have too much to say because I don't think it necessarily fits into the story with me able to add too much to it other than just, it's it's a spooky. You know? It's just a spooky. And I find it cool. Get it? Because it's called The Chill. Everybody died. Everybody died. All of them. That was a lot of dead people. Also, the dude Chris voiced was named Lorimar. What does that mean? The fuck is Lorimar? Lorimar. 
Lorimar. Lorimar Winery? Winery? Lorimar Vineyards and Winery. Oh. Lorimar Productions. They made the witches. They made the last Starfighter. Officer and a gentleman. I assume we're pulling from the vineyards and wineries since everyone else was, you know, based on. So it was based on vegetation of some sort. I just thought it was interesting, and I like looking things up. Um, anyway, that was the first episode of Grim Fairy, uh, not Grim Fairy Tales, um, Ruby Fairy Tales, The Grim Child. Um, I thought it was interesting. Again, I'm going to be going over all these books. I'd love to hear what you guys think about stuff, maybe how they can fit into the, how anything can fit into the story, or just, uh, what you think about the, the ideas in there or not. I think it's a cool thing. I think it was a cool way to start this off. Again, I believe this October 31st did to come out on Halloween. It seems like a good time to do it. Um, it does seem like the rest of the show will be done in with the semi-narration, like introductions and maybe outros from Oz or um, someone else. I don't know. I think it's I think it's cool. I think it's interesting. I'm very curious to see the rest of them. Again, they're very short, so these videos are going to feel a little weird. Um, but I'm enjoying it anyway. So I love you all dearly. Take care. Stay safe. Stay wonderful. Stay beautiful. I'm still over here on the fucking far left for you will be for you left for me right north um <clears throat> but um yeah i'm enjoying it so i hope you guys are too i'll catch y'all in the next episode where we'll do the hunter's children see what that's about i'm not gonna do the hunter's children please be adults please dear god be adults otherwise that joke is horrific and i just i is it worse than the chill probably that's worse than constant murder of children, right? It is. I think so. I'm not saying either we're going to move on from this current conversation. It's horrible. It's 31 degrees outside. It feels colder. Goodbye. <laughs> dude, they put fucking... Dude, we got fucking street lights in at work now. And you're like, what do you mean? Did you not have street lights before? No, we didn't. We've not had street lights forever. And we thought they weren't going to fucking give it to us this year. Because they fucking, like, they built the entire fucking street and put all street lights in every other fucking place in the entirety of the street. Except for our block. There was, like, a little gap that was just our block that didn't have street lights. And I was like, oh my god, it's winter. They're not going to ever be, they're not going to do it till next year. Because it's fucking winter in Montana. We're just never going to have street lights. And this past week they wouldn't put them in. After weeks of not doing it. I'm slightly less likely to get stabbed at work. Yeah. Slightly. That was another reason I was not here. Is because someone tried to stab me. Anyway, um, try to stab a lot of people. Point is, goodbye. Oh, God. Chilling. Chilling. <laughs>